Hello and welcome to the Mechanics Automotive. Today we are here to a brand new episode of a brand new series. We've already seen Soham's Laura, but now what's next? Let's check it out. If you can't gather what this is without the bumper and just looking at the 2 liter TSI right in front of you, this is a Skoda VRS 230 in its stock form. Today we are going to be uh, starting with a little bit of work towards making this a complete stage 2 car and we are going to take you through the entire journey. So stay tuned. So in today's episode, we're going to be removing the intercooler and upgrading it. We're going to be removing the intake and upgrading it. And we're going to be removing the downpipe and upgrading it. So let's get cracking. Our first upgrade is an intercooler and this is an integrated engineering's intercooler from the US. Uh, what a bigger intercooler does is let the air stay colder inside because of more volume. Uh, this is uh, definitely much bigger than the stock one which means that the air will stay colder which will return better performance. In, uh, the, sto in the stock VRS230 we have rubber boost pipes. This is a silicon boost pipe which can expand up to three times more. Again, all increasing the performance some way or the other. So we have just gotten the older intercooler out and as you can see it's tiny compared to this monstrosity. I can't even pick it up with one hand. This compared to this. So before air used to be passing through this and the volume uh, of the radiator of the intercooler was there, was just there. But now that we've got this massive intercooler, there'll be more air passing out and that means the air will stay cooler and that means better boost. So, silicon pipe, rubber pipe, boost pipes. This is the old one and as you can see it's worn. And what we're gonna put now is the big deal. So let's put it on. Okay, so as you can see, we have almost finished up uh, the intercooler and now we are going to be going to the downpipe. Funny thing about the downpipe is that instead of it being between the intercooler and the engine block, it's behind the engine block. So we don't need uh, to remove anything in front anymore. So now we are going to go to the back of the engine and uh, get cracking. So for the first uh, step to take the downpipe off, we're going to be taking down the subframe so that we have access to the downpipe as well as the entire uh, exhaust manifold which sits right over the subframe. I mean, of course, you don't want the subframe to uh, come in the middle because the downpipe is actually quite big and it sits right behind the engine like I mentioned before. So it'll be just slipping off from here or from up and uh, that's it. It seems like a pretty simple job but uh, it's labor intensive so we're just gonna start now and see how it goes so this is what we are replacing the downpipe with this is a performance downpipe from miltech which is from england and uh, what this does is let the exhaust flow a little better so uh, as it's a turbo car the exhaust pipe uh, gases will be going towards the turbo as hot air and this lets some more flow go into the into the turbo which means more boost <laughs> So 
So as you can see, our stock down pipe is off, and we have kept it right next to the uh, Miltech pipe so that we can show you what difference it is. This is a 2.34 inch down pipe, and uh, we are upgrading it to around three inches. So there is less uh, restriction of flow, and of course, uh, a better sound. The catalytic converter also has become a little shorter and wider so that uh, there's a little bit more noise and a little bit more drama. Apart from that, no difference apart from dirt uh, size. While we started fitting the Miltech downpipe, some other shiny metal arrived at Mechanics. A Remus catback exhaust system with a valve tronic. So we started fitting that as well. The cool part about this exhaust system is that it is a valve tronic which means you can be a good neighbor in the morning and create havoc at night. Finally, we got the new Remus exhaust system and Miltech downpipe into their respective places. But since it was getting quite dark and it was starting to get late, we decided to halt the progress. In the next episode, we will be fitting the carbon fiber intake and installing the stage 2 performance tune. So stay tuned and let us know what you think about the new project VRS.